Yeah, there we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm really excited for today's stream because we finally have like some new emotes um, and some new sub, sub badges. Actually, I'm gonna bring my iPad closer because I cannot see chat. Let's hope my doesn't die, but <laughs> oh well if it does. Okay. So we have some new follower emotes and then we also have some new sub emotes as well. Hi, uh, Ige fan. What? How are you doing? Welcome. So this is one of our new follower emotes. We have a hi. What else do we have? Uh, I'm trying to remember which ones are follower emotes. I think. Yeah, we've got some. Hi, Marco. How are you doing? Welcome. I've got new emotes, and I'm just quickly gonna go through. We have a tea one for when there's tea to spill. We have. Um, I think these both the world is over you thank you yes this is a um this is a custom game map by oh my gosh i can't remember the name now um we've got some more follow-up emotes we have a raid one as well so when we go raid people um hi julia how are you doing i'm doing well thank you and then we have the sub emotes which i'm so excited to show you guys so uh, these are for people who are subscribed so we have a heart which is like a sort of jewel like a sort of rainbow jewel like a crystal um actually i'm not sure if the devil horns are sub as well then we have a clown one for when i'm being a clown um <laughs> i'm a clown a lot so it's fine we have a rage one for when you're angry at me or we're angry at the game um <laughs> And then the most exciting ones, I'm so excited to show you guys these. We have one for Eleanor, Queen Eleanor. We have a emote for her. And then we also have an emote for Philip. I'm really excited about them. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys can see them. I'm not sure if you can because they're sub emotes, but yeah, I, I love them. You're fine, you're currently dealing with another sunburn because, oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, I hate sunburn. It's the worst. I hate it. Okay. Right, let's go into game. I kind of want to finish off the, the, the one in Tartosa today. So, this one. I'm in the main save. So, they, they're wearing the outfits from the episode. I have not filmed the episode yet. But, yeah. I'm going to film it tomorrow, hopefully. I was going to film it today, but basically, I had a coffee with my friend earlier. And it just made me feel so just unwell, <laughs> so I just didn't feel like well enough um, to film. You know when you have too much coffee and you get the coffee shakes? I just was not feeling it, so. Okay, let me know how the music is. I don't know if it's too quiet or too loud. Um, ignore my fan as well. You're not dealing with that because full is setting in your car. Oh, that's nice. It's really hot today, so also my window is like cracked open because we're having a heat wave in the UK. <laughs> Even though it's autumn, we're having a heat wave in the UK, it's horrible. So this is the palace we're working on today. We've got quite a bit of it done. We need to work on the exterior as well. Oh, hang on. I didn't realise that that changed on the outside. Um, so yeah, also we have new... Uh, sub badges as well it's a castle and it changes it like every month you've been subscribed so i'm really excited about it hi t how are you doing welcome i've just been through the emotes um this palette reminds me of mirror race oh my gosh does it i see that yeah i mean i tried to do i mean it doesn't look very greek but like the idea is like this world is kind of like greece um but yeah, I, I can see that. <laughs> um, you finished a pose pack, you're like, oh my gosh. I'm excited to see it though. Um, I filmed I filmed the castle tour today. That's up for early access. Um, so that will be coming out tomorrow. I'm doing well, yes. How are you doing? Uh, that's a mood after a week of heavy rain. We almost hit 30 degrees in the colder regions. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's so hot. It's so hot in the UK, it's horrible. Like, I was fully ready for autumn weather, <laughs> and then that just didn't happen. 
Right, so we were going to do bedrooms, weren't we? So we have a kitchen already. We have some bathrooms. We have dining room, ballroom. Obviously some drawing rooms and dining rooms and stuff. Okay, we'll do some bedrooms. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I have move objects on. Uh, okay. Putting the sweaters back in the closet, yeah. I, well, you guys know last stream I was wearing like a jumper because I was like ready for autumn and then it was really hot. So it's not the best at the moment. Okay, I'm just gonna put doors in like around. Put the door on along here maybe. Do we have a door from each side? I'm not sure. Um, okay. How does that, do oh that one's like there. I've been working a bit on the stables today in Hempford on Bagley, so I'm excited to, uh, to show you guys them eventually. They're not done, but I've, I've been working on the interior a bit today. Um, okay, I might do. Um, I just remembered that the windows are weird in this one. What are you guys up to today? Are you playing The Sims right now? Are you chilling? Are you doing something else? Okay. Let's grab the marble floor that we need to do. But yeah, I hope you guys like the new um, emotes. I'm really happy with them. I did get rid of the corgi ones because I was only allowed a certain amount. Uh, you're getting a certain Indian project. Oh my gosh, Marco! I was like, ah, I'm excited. You're chilling like a villain. That is very fair. I love that for you. <laughs> um, okay. Want to know what building hack you know you seem to? Sorry, one second. Want to know building hack? You know the Sims Four frames for paintings are just so plain. But if you activate move objects and pick a frame, the painting is yours. Oh. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I recolor my own paintings anyway. Um, I recolor my own custom content paintings anyway. I'm trying to find one to show you. I think we recently, yeah, I recently recolored all these. Of my royal families. Uh, yeah, I finally added some more in, guys. <laughs> I love this one. This one's so good. The clown, yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Are you going up? No, 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 T. We love them. Hang on. I just want to check something. One sec, guys. Give me one moment. I hope I put the right ones under the right ones. Uh, no. Okay, let's get back in game. I hope, uh, yeah, I already read that. <laughs> no, T, we love your poses. They're amazing. I think you can never have too many family ones, ever. Okay. Right. I'll do that one. I like that. Now, I'm wondering if we do the same thing up here because the windows just look weird. They look fine from the outside but they look really weird from the inside so I don't know if to just cover them and like make fake windows you missed a reply oh no that's alright we love them don't worry we love them <laughs> you can never have too many family poses in my opinion do you think I think that's gonna have to work because I just think it looks really weird to have like half a window bad timing into that <laughs> oh great I mean, it still kind of looks weird, but it just, I mean, they look covered up, but I just think because they're so low, it just looks weird. I don't know. Um, okay. Right. So, I'm just going to add these all around. Probably change the color. Let's make these ones like a green. This hallway can be like green. Let's do the hallway first. I like hallways. I love doing hallways. I don't know why. They're just really fun. 
I love long hallways. Okay. Do we keep that one? I don't know. No, I don't know. Uh, that one. That's quite nice. I don't know. Um. Hmm. So basically, with the next episode, um. I've been struggling to find a, a good time to film it, which is annoying, I like that, which is annoying, but because I've been finding a hard time to film it, um, I don't know if I'll be able to get it out before next week, so I'm going away, I'm going to see twice Friday, well Friday, on Friday I'm going, um, and then I'm away till Saturday evening. So I don't know whether to film it Sunday. If I can get it filmed tomorrow, that would be great. But I won't get it edited tomorrow because I still need to work on the machinimas and everything. So I'm guessing it is... We'll see. If I don't film the episode tomorrow, I'll film it Sunday. And then it'll be up for early access. Probably by Monday at the latest. But just so you guys know. It's on my to-do list. Hi, Chris Martigas. How are you doing? Welcome. Um... Okay. Let's see. Okay. That's. Oh, I didn't do that side. Whoops. Let's do this side. How is everyone's week going as well? We're like halfway through the week now. I just can't believe, like, we're already like nearly a week in September now which is kind of scary because <laughs> before we know it will be Christmas <laughs> um, I love this time of, of year but at the same time I hate it because I start thinking about like how I've spent my year and then I'm like have I achieved everything I wanted to I don't know uh, POV random townies walking into their hilarious outfits fashion please playing the first time <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just like, whenever I'm playing, there's just always just a random townie in just like, it's normally like the Mabley capes. I don't know if you have guys have anything from Mabley store, but they make capes and stuff um, to go with like their lovely dresses. And it's normally like they're wearing that cape with just like a normal, but normally like just a random base game outfit and it just looks so weird. I'm gonna get another booster. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. We're not offered them anymore in the UK. <laughs> We're next. Tuesday's your birthday! And you're not ready for it. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for you though. How's the music, guys? I'm worried if it's too quiet. I can turn it up a little bit. My mic is now like near me and it's further away from my... I don't have speakers on my computer so I just use my headphones and it's a bit further, further away. Okay, I like that. Now, I don't know whether I'm gonna bother with this room because it's just really weird. So I think I might just put a big painting at the end. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna create that one there. Oops. What have we got? We've got, I don't want to do one of these. Again though, this is Nathaniel's home and I don't have many recolors or paintings with Nathaniel in them like that would go really well in here but that's of Eleanor and William so I can't really do that this would go well too but this isn't Helena's home I don't know um I just need to recolor more stuff oh my god and guys how good does Caroline look in this I realize it's the same pose as what Eleanor has that you can kind of see it's like Ellen is a slightly different angle, but it's like the same pose, pretty much. <laughs> um, and everyone was saying in the comments, it was like, she looks like, wait, I thought that was Eleanor, but they thought Caroline was Eleanor. And I'm like, I actually see it. Because I always thought that like, Caroline and Helena looked really similar, but it wasn't until like, I posted them and people started pointing out, I was actually, they look really similar. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't know what I want down here. I like this painting, but it's so dark. 
Maybe my royals need big walls because if royal architects tried to put chandeliers, they would be unstable. <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. It's kind of crazy actually because like you go in all these, because I've started going to palaces quite a bit. And like when you actually go around and visit them, you're kind of like, how? Like you look at the outside of like Buckingham Palace, for instance, and I know it like it looks grand, but when you go inside, guys, it's so it's crazy. Like you wouldn't think. I'm gonna move my wire a bit because it's in the way of my view, kind of. There we go. Uh, but like you guys wouldn't even like think how crazy it is. I just like when I saw the interior, my heart just stopped. It was so beautiful like i'm kind of a buckingham palace hater like i i hate the outside of it i hate the architecture but now i've been inside i like i love it i don't i still don't like the outside as much but i love the interior it's so beautiful and you wouldn't think that all of that is inside <laughs> you know like the palace the bucket like the exterior of buckingham palace it's crazy um this side table same with Windsor Castle though, to be honest, like it's crazy inside. Like if you guys ever like have the opportunity to visit Buckingham Palace or Windsor Castle and you're interested in just like palace architecture, castle architecture, anything like that, I would so recommend going because it's just amazing and it's really eye-opening to just see how like things are actually sort of arranged. But yeah, I... I love them so much. I kind of want to go back. <laughs> um, I feel like this looks so bare. I have a real big problem. I kind of have the need to fill up every single wall with something. And I feel like that's why my palace is always so expensive because I just like spam the walls with mirrors and paintings and <laughs> gold. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know what to do with this mirror. I might do that one. I mean, it's equal now. Oh, do we have a blue? Do we have a little bit Okay. Uh, we'll do this one. Okay. Okay. about that that's cool okay i want more paintings i don't know if i want really big ones maybe people just paint put paintings in the long hallways just for like guests to not complain they didn't have any artistic taste yeah um, i might do that one and then like change the swatch I love these paintings so much and like they look really good resized as well because a lot of paintings just like I don't know they look too big or like the quality goes a bit bad if you resize them but these ones just say exactly the same which is lovely I think I like that one it's pretty um, okay what do we think also I have a habit of putting columns everywhere <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that. I might put some like uh, seats in. Uh, okay. I'm curious, what is everyone's favourite new emote? I'm curious. I think, just because I think it's so cool, I think mine might be Eleanor or Phillips the sub emotes but I do like the clown one and I do like the tea one um, okay. okay uh right can I think of <laughs> the design I want for this okay that's fine okay um I might get more console tables in. Right. Um, I don't know what one 
to do? We got that one. It's quite nice. I might do this one. This came with the Chateau pack by Felix Andre. It's nice because it's smaller and you could technically fit it into like these corner bits. Maybe we should. We could put maybe like a plant on it, like flowers. That could be quite fun. Oh my gosh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. That's nice. I like Helena's one more better because it reminds me of a robot skin. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Okay. I might switch that one out then for like this one. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe if we do that with like another big painting. most excited for this episode well i'm definitely excited for future episodes but i'm really excited for the next episode because like the main arc is properly starting and i can't wait for you guys to just kind of i want to know like what you guys think like when you see it like what your suspicions are because i want to know like how many people kind of like, not gonna guess <laughs> what's gonna happen but like maybe have an inkling but i don't know i don't know how apparent it will be from like the next it probably won't be very apparent from the next episode but i'm just excited to see what you guys are gonna think oh, i think i did that one too hard did i no i didn't no i didn't okay um let's do that one okay i like that i think i want to get in more paintings I need to read kind of more of Nathaniel because I, <laughs> I want to put in family photos. Oh, we could do this. Oh wait, I don't have the this one. Oh, let's do this one. It goes. Let's do that one. Change the switch. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. This is just a suggestion, but you found a mode that brings some more food options. Oh, right. I think I've seen that mod. I think I've seen that mod. Um, I definitely could try that. Does it makes it? Is it the one that makes it look more realistic, or is it just more options? I've seen the one that makes the food look more realistic. And the only thing is, I'm a bit reluctant to download. It's called Granny's Cookbook. Oh, okay. The only thing is I'm a bit reluctant to download new mods because with the amount of updates at the moment, and like the sim EA are releasing, it's just getting so annoying to have to like update so many different mods. And it's also what's like keeping me from <laughs> downloading Tool Mod, which I really need to download because I know it's gonna make my life so much easier. But just like the thought of having like another mod to, to update all the time is just really annoying, so. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I'll definitely check it out though. Um, do we like the lighter colour or the darker colour? Oh, I like that one. We'll do that one. I like that one. Um, okay, and then. The only thing with this flower is if you go out too far, it does that. Wait, it does that, <laughs> which is annoying. Oh, do you like them? Hang 
on. Why are the sub emotes available as follower emotes? I set them as sub emotes. Give me one moment. That's confusing. One sec, guys. Very confused. Okay, well, yeah, the heart, Eleanor, Philip, the clown, and the devil horns, they're meant to be sub emotes. And the rage one, they're meant to be sub emotes. <laughs> I've set them as sub emotes. Only the rage one's not a bit, oh, that's weird. Okay. Right, that's confusing. I'll have to sort that out, but okay. <laughs> um They're under sub emotes. And so is the the rage one which is animated. I don't know why that's not Wait guys, give me one second. <laughs> uh, um sub emotes. Give me one moment, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, look at me glitch proofing. <laughs> uh, what does this say? Okay. That's interesting. I don't really know. I do that. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, I'll try and figure that out. <laughs> but they're meant to be sub emotes. <laughs> um because i was confused because someone used the clown emote and i was like ah. <laughs> right that's fine okay are these ones yeah those ones are meant to be the um yeah those ones are meant to be the um the follower emotes <laughs> i don't know why i don't know I mean, they might be available if you've subbed in the past. I'm not really sure how it works, but it's interesting. <laughs> um, I'll have to try figure that out. Okay, let's do. If anyone here has experience of Twitch and emotes, please try help us out here because I'm really confused. <laughs> um, uh, we can put that one in. Yeah, we'll put that one in there. Uh, right. No, I want a different thing. Unless, like, uh, unless you guys have unlocked things with channel points in the past, maybe that unlocked the new emotes as well, because I replaced some slots. So maybe if you've done that, that might be the reason. But I'm kind of uh, confused. I might do. No, I like that chair. Okay, we'll do that one. <laughs> I'm being indecisive now. Probably. Yeah! That's what I'm guessing, so. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out before the next stream. <laughs> but yeah, feel free to use them, guys. <laughs> Whilst they're available. <laughs> You've unlocked. Okay, it might be that then. It might be that. That's fine. Uh... Okay. 
Okay. What's this? You're keeping channel points for the portrait option. Oh my god, that's exciting. Yes, definitely. The portrait one's always really fun. No one's actually redeemed the Kill King Philip yet. And then I'm excited for when that happens. You're special for a bit. Um, well, these ones I actually commissioned um, an artist to make. So, yeah. I'm really happy with them. But some of... Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll try to figure it out. Oh, I might do that one. I like that. Okay, I like that. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe you'll go with Helena to the spa and I can finish. Oh my gosh, yes! I'm excited for someone to redeem the Kill King Philip because I just want to do it. <laughs> Any excuse, I'm happy for it. Okay. That's fine. You can do it now, oh my gosh. I mean, it's up to you two, they're your channel points. Don't like feel like you have to do <laughs> spend them on something if you don't want to. <laughs> I need to get more rewards though for channel points because I'll have to try to figure some out that we can add. Uh, okay. I think we'll do that one. Maybe put that one on the edge. I like this plant, but it's so like sticky outy, it's kind of difficult to use. There we go. So sauna then, we can do that, yeah. If you want to. Uh, you've been running around the room for the past 10 minutes on a hunt for a golf ball size mosquitoes. Because you know you're, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I had that with like a spider recently. There was a massive spider like on my bed and I screamed and my mum came to help me because I just cannot deal with them. <laughs> um, on the time okay i'll finish this one then we can go do it okay i'm gonna have to read the request again what was it so we're gonna what is it go with helena to the spa and a new character spawns his ex or in the sauna and his ex well like caroline could do it okay one sec what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to go into a different save for this just because this is the main save but we'll, yeah we'll go do that now and then we can resume palace building i'm always down <laughs> to kill philip okay let's head out quickly of the save i'm trying to think if there are any spoilers in my saves give me one moment i'm gonna kill my screen for a sec <laughs> give me one moment there we go. Um, let's do it in. I don't want save to do it in. Let's do it in. Uh, I want to do a save that has Philip in. Let's do an old save that I know Philip is in. Oh, we'll do this. Oh, this is a really old save. I don't know if it's correct. Mm. I think that one might be good. I'm trying to think. Oh, okay. I've got to save. I was sure I was going to save. <laughs> okay. Bring back my screen. This is a really old save, guys. Let me turn my screen back on. Okay. Oh my gosh, come on. That was the... Oh, can you... Yeah, okay, good. You can see. That was the old palace I used to use. I never built it, but I actually... I used to use that. I actually have no idea what the save looks like. Oh, this is a really old save. Oh my god, that was like all my old lots. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
This is such an old save. Look at oh my god, Ellen is bold. Okay, where is Philip in this save? Oh my god, this is such oh he's there. This is such an old save, what the hell? Okay, so we need Caroline. Do we want Nicola or Caroline to do it? Be the evil ex. Um Peter beat this dog, kill the king of <laughs> Um, because we can do Nicola if we want to, or do we want Caroline? I mean, they can both, they can both do it. <laughs> it could be a group job. Um, what do we think? <laughs> What's your desire? I'm going to quickly try to figure this out. Um, Eleanor, we can do Eleanor. Let's just have the whole gang there, why not? This can be a group effort. Okay, I don't think Missy and Michael will fit. This can be a group effort. Okay, let's go into cast and get them in outfits for this. <laughs> I'm taking this really seriously. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I think everyone here has a grudge against Philip in some way, so. Well, Rose looks fine. Eleanor is bold. Oh, that's oh, it's her old outfit. I'm getting emotional. Okay. Um, Andrew looks fine. Nicola needs some hair though. Um, she can have that. Um, Helena's blonde. Oh my god, look at Helena. Okay, Philip. What do we want him? I want to give him a cool outfit. Let's give him a meme outfit. I don't know what one though. Let's make him a knight. <laughs> he can be a knight because he thinks he's so brave when he's not. I can relate to that because I'd be mad if my dad has an illegitimate <laughs> kid. Um, okay, Caroline has some very regal outfits. Okay. Oh my god, this is such an old save. That's from a story post. I think I know what time the save is from. I think I'm figuring it out by based on the outfits. Caroline had short hair. Was that Caroline's hair? Did she have bangs or did she have like she had that hair, that's Caroline. Yeah. Oh my god, look at her. Um William. I mean he looks fine. Oh that's um Oh he's shirtless. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Can I say something about the subscription price? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, okay. Everyone looks fine, I think. Okay, let's go kill Philip in a group effort. Okay, they're all in Henford. Oh wait, Nicola's still bold. Oh, I didn't do it on her. Is the spa even placed? No, we need to place the spa as well. Um, she's not in her every day. We'll do that one. She can just wear that one. She needs shoes though. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I love Nicola. Um, I miss her. Okay, let's, I don't know where the spa could be, let's, actually let me find a spa, um, I don't know if the spoilers in my, okay guys give me one moment, I'm gonna find a spa, I'm gonna have to kill my screen again, <laughs> um, uh, uh, there's kind of spoilers in here, okay that's fine. It wouldn't matter because always everyone will be. Talking. I know that, but it makes me feel better if they're dressed. Okay, good. Okay, let's look for a spa. I mean, we could really do it. Let's get a really expensive one. Uh, popular. Most popular. 
Oh, that one's cool. Ooh, I don't know what I'm to do now. These look, these look great. Let's do, oh, let's do the Barbie spa. How can we not do the Barbie spa? Okay, 40 by 30 lot. Um, I don't, uh, yeah, I can do that, that's fine. Yeah. I'm down for Philip to die in a Barbie spa. <laughs> Okay. It takes a long to place. I remember like before I had my gaming PC, I'd literally be waiting like sometimes 20 minutes for a lot to place. <laughs> they take so long. <laughs> Are we done? No. Is anyone else finding that the game is just randomly crashing at the moment, or is it just me? The price is two ninety nine euro, but when you switch it to your currency, it's barely a euro. Oh, that is weird. Maybe it's just like the conversion rate. Oh, I was going to move them there. Okay, wait. Where where are they all? Right. Well, they can go live there. Oh, we still can't afford it. No. Ah, not re, free. <laughs> Real estate. One. There we go. Basically, this is how I used. To, let me save my game. Sorry about the cars again. This is how I used to do all my chapter one story post, guys. You're getting a bit of an exclusive. <laughs> I never used to actually build lots or palaces. I just had rooms. That was until I built like the old, the palace where Nicola, you know, had her accident. But before that I didn't actually use. So that was like, the banquet hall I used for Eleanor's Investor Trigala. That's that room. That was for that group photo I did. I, these are so old. That was a hallway. <laughs> oh, this was like the infamous room where everyone found out about the affair. That was Helena's bedroom from like that flashback and then this was a room for something. But yeah, it's basically how story posts used to happen before I became good at palaces. Okay, let's take a group trip to, I mean it's 2 a.m. but that's fine. Let's take a group trip to the spa. Oh, she's called baby Helena, <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. I don't actually know what the relationships are like. Okay. Spa. Here we go. It's 69 euro in total. That is a big difference. Oh, that's in. Oh. I'm not sure on euros though, to be honest, like the conversion rate. So I'm actually not sure what that is in pounds. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, guys, look at, oh. oh my God, look at the Barbie spa. Maybe they reserve the spa for like Philip's birthday in celebration of the Barbie movie. I love that. Okay, don't worry, you're okay. <laughs> that is weird though. Like, that's quite a big difference. Is there a sauna here though? Hang on. I don't even know if there's a sauna here. Guys, I don't think there's a sauna at the Barbie spa. Let's put a sauna in like, I'm just gonna manually put one in because I really want him to die at the Barbie spa. Sauna, sauna. To be fair, I haven't really used this pack since the refresh, so I'm interested to see how it works. Does it come in pink? No, it doesn't come in pink, that's a shame. Okay. Oh wait, no, we need to trap him though, don't we? Let's, um, I want to see what room I can close in is the Barbie spa. Let's do it. It looks like a Barbie dream house as well, which is really cool. Um, let's, oh, I don't know where to do it. I want to box him in. Actually, we can put it there, then I can just kind of box 
the room and around him, that's fine. Make a little wood room, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I kind of want him to be properly boxed in. I don't want any walking space. Um, we need it on a full tile, not just a half tile. Aha. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> why can't i do that oh it's a rounded room oh my gosh i'm gonna scream hang on i will do this guys i will sort it out i promise okay oh my god i put so many layers on a of the sun oh my gosh <laughs> i remember using that a lot when i went to greece um on holiday with my family what why invalid rounded it's not a rounded room though oh my hang on guys i'm getting actually really annoyed with this let's do it i'm gonna go outside the barbie spa they can all be having fun and he can just die out here because i don't know how else i'm gonna do this pink wood room yeah we'll make it pink Twin X T T T V, how are you doing? Welcome. Okay, let's put in a door that we can lock. We need like a pink Barbie door. <laughs> uh, how's the palace been? We're taking a quick detour to kill King Philip, which is going to be really fun. I'm just so excited. Actually, I think it needs to be like a single door. Um, it's redeemed. T redeemed um, the kill King Philip reward so we're gonna quickly do this okay we need a light so we can see what's happening i do like two of them okay i'm gonna save my game i'm kind of concerned it might crash because it's just doing that at the moment it's pink goes with everything exactly good job pink up by to say hi yes thank you how was the king Oh, okay, we're doing a different, we're not doing the 100 baby challenge today. Um, we're doing just like my normal save, my normal royal save stuff. Um, so, yeah, so um, this, we're just kind of doing some palace building and now in my real save, the king was like a serial cheater and he was evil and stuff. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that wall. It can be the Barbie death room. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, and pink carpet. Wonderful. Okay. So I'm hoping this works. Oh my god. <laughs> I think. Okay. I think we're all gonna try fit in. Apparently. Um. Oh. Oh. Siri just turned off. Okay. Oh my gosh, thank you! Yes, of course! Enjoy the rest of your day! Thank you for stopping by. Okay. I don't know if we're all gonna fit in here. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Everyone else get out. Uh, William, get out. Oh my god, I love how they're sat together, that's such a vibe. Helena, get out. Okay, Carol, actually Nicola's right there. So Nicola, once Andrew's left, you're gonna lock the door. Carl Carlson is here, he is. <laughs> okay. Can you not lock the door? Oh, are you joking me? Why can't I lock the door? What, that's so dumb. Well, I'm taking it away. Okay. Okay guys, the rest of us, we're gonna go do a yoga class, maybe. Okay. Um, do yoga, uh, just practice yoga. I kind of want the whole group to do yoga. 
we're gonna go, we'll go do yoga whilst Philip dies. I don't think we're all gonna fit up here. I think Rose, uh, Rose and Nicola can go just meditate. You guys need to meditate, you've been through a lot. <laughs> Are they all going up? Oh my god, this lot's so bright, you can't even see them. <laughs> What's happening? We're killing Philip! Um, T uh, redeemed the kill King Philip reward and we wanted to do it in the spa. So he's gonna just stay in here. <laughs> Until he dies. Okay, well these both don't want to. Um, yeah, why not? Um, Rose, you're just gonna... I don't know what I want Rose to do. Uh, Rose, you can go. I'll do that. Okay. Oh my god. A squad. <laughs> Philip plus Barbie Sonner, yes. <laughs> Maybe get those two times in the one. Yes. Um, yeah. It's just it's a vibe. Helen, are you gonna do yoga? There we go, thank you. I don't know why Eleanor's wearing that. That's random, but okay. Oh, okay, what do we do? Let's do pink, we're in a Barbie spa. How's Philip doing? I think I'm gonna have to fast forward. No, you're gonna have to stay in there. You need to die. I'm just gonna have to go on times three speed and hope it happens soon. Okay. Ooh, we need to do the yoga class, don't we guys? Join. Join. I don't know, okay. Join. I wanna see them all doing yoga together, join. Helena, you're also gonna join. I want to watch them all do yoga together. <laughs> oh, you need to pee. I'll go pee then. Oh, that's my makeup. Um, oh. Okay, apparently Michael's here. That's fine. Philip, stay in there. Okay. Oh, it's happening. Haha. -ha. Everyone has knees down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It'll die eventually. How's it going? Oh no. Oh, Helena, are you doing it? Oh my god, Helena. I wanted to get a cute group short. <laughs> oh, he's dying. Yay. Oh. I mean, oh my god, his head. <laughs> Bye, Julia. Thank you for coming. <laughs> oh my god, Lily. Say hi, Lily. Okay. Oh, Grim's there. Oh, we can't come in because we got rid of the door. That's quite funny, actually. Oh, can he float through the wall? Oh yeah, he can. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I might speed it up a little bit. Okay. Yay! Oh, she's scared of death now. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Okay. That was fun. We had so much fun in the Barbie spa. Okay, let's go. Let's go back uh, to the palace building. <laughs> that was fun though. <laughs> okay. He died quite quickly actually. I haven't really done many sauna deaths. So <laughs> I think I once accidentally had someone die at the sauna though. Um, I'm gonna quickly kill my screen again, one sec guys. I don't know if I have spoilers. have to go thank you um egan thank you for coming 
Okay. Uh, okay. Right, let's go back to building. The rest. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> right. Where were we? We were on the top floor, weren't we? Yeah, is anyone else having issues of your game just crashing? Because mine keeps doing it and it's making me nervous. <sighs> I don't know if it's like mods I have installed or just something else, but it's just not fun. Because like I feel my game crash and it just crashes from like the simplest of things. Like I'd just be playing like a literal normal save file, no CC, no mods other than like MCC to like change their clothes and stuff quickly. Like that'll be it. And then it just decides to crash. Can I do them ones? Like that. Okay, I like that. And then I think I want like a light in the corner. Let's do... I might do the silver one. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's... That's not the one I was after. Aha, uh -huh, that's the one I was after. Okay. How is everyone doing? Okay. I need to make sure this is palace is functional at some point so I don't actually know right now. I'm assuming it is but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Let's pop these at either side. Okay. Okay. I like that. Although I might change the door. We'll do that one. Um, do that one. Oh, okay, that's fine. And then that one can be. that one and then switch it so it's like that. That's fine. I like that. Oh my god, I'm getting really hot. <laughs> Why is it so hot today? It's crazy, it's autumn, it shouldn't be this hot. I'm not here for it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done with this hallway. Although I don't know where to put this in. I do too many columns, but I just like the way they look. So I think we're just gonna do it. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Let's do, should we do a bedroom? I don't know one should be the bedroom actually. the biggest. Let's do... I'm wondering if we could do it like this. Like that. I like that. And then if we put a light in. Just so it's like a little, I guess like a little nook.
and they can be like opposite each other and then that could be like the entrance to I don't know. So I don't know if you've noticed but my mouse is like pretty much broken I don't know if you notice when I do like builds and stuff but sometimes it just from no re for no reason my it just zooms in randomly or zooms out randomly and it's so annoying and I literally cannot scroll like it just did it now I didn't even like move my cursor like to do it i'm moving it now and it's not doing anything i can't zoom in or out at all like i'm scrolling now and it's just not working i need to get a new mouse because it's getting really annoying <laughs> okay um, so yeah if you ever notice on any of my videos or streams if my camera or my game just suddenly zooms in or out randomly that's because my mouse is like broken <laughs> Okay, I'll do that one. Same is happening with your mouse. Oh, is it? I'm happy it's not just me. I've had the mouse about a year. No, well, no, I got it like June last year. So I've had it like a while. But the same, well, the, to be honest, I really want to get the um, Logitech cloud keyboard and mouse. But they're so expensive, but I really want them because they just look so nice. And it comes with like, um, sort of like a wrist rest like for your hands and your wrists and it's like in the shape of a cloud it's stunning and i really want it but it's expensive the scroll just doesn't cooperate it doesn't know like i'm zooming out right now but it's <laughs> it's going in instead it's really weird okay I'm happy it's not just me though, because <laughs> uh, I don't know whether I want this to be the master version. So yeah, I'm just using the um, X and Z keys. That's why I keep accidentally taking screenshots, because I to go in and out, I have to manually do it on my keyboard. And the C is right next to the X, so I actually do that a lot. I might do this as the master version, actually. Let's do what's that. I don't remember downloading that. The wireless one, it's been like four years probably. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, I've only had mine like over a year <laughs> and it's broken. Um, which is kind of annoying actually, because mine's like a HyperX one. So like, they're meant to be good, but it apparently isn't. I might do this. I love this bed, I don't use it much, but it, it feels appropriate because obviously Priya and the purple, it just, it feels appropriate. Let's do this one. Let's do. I don't know what one to do. How about that one? Okay. Um, got that purple. I kind of want it to be pastel, but I do like that. Let's do this one. I know it's not pastel, but it goes. Oh. Oh my god, my game crashed! Do you guys see what I mean? My game is just crashing randomly, and I don't know why. And it's kind of stressing me out. No, I know. I just let's find a good emote for this. Um, me to the Sims Four when my game crashes. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, Philip, that's the right one. The rage. Yeah, you guys did it. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so also it's because. It's very bright, vibrant because I've reshade on when it turns on, so <laughs> it's very vibrantly blue. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Literally, like sometimes I turn on my game in the morning and I'm just like flashed with like this blue light that's so bright. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But yeah, is anyone else getting that at the moment, or is it just me? We are still live, right? <laughs> My viewers and sessions have me turned off. Are we still live? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. We're live, okay. <laughs> Twitch and The Sims hate me today. They keep, they hate, they keep glitching. Alive, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm getting stressed now. I just want to play The Sims. 
Oh my god, Priya. Yeah, I feel like Priya right now. Who do you feel bitter about? That's weird. Oh my god, Nathaniel, are you scared of the dark again? You're outside. In the sun. How are you scared of the dark? You're literally outside. Why is he so glitched like this? I need to try find a way. <sighs> How do you get rid of a fear of the dark? But it's not even in his, like, traits, so it must be bugged. He must be bugged. Me and NASA computer. Honestly guys, I have to, I have a really good gaming computer and I don't know why my game keeps crashing. It's so stupid and ridiculous. It's really bad though. Oh, that didn't save. <laughs> Where did we get up to? Okay. Okay. Like, you always see memes of, like, people making fun of people who have, like, gaming PCs for The Sims on, like, TikTok and stuff and Twitter. But at the same time, I'm like, you do realise you kind of need one if you use mods in CC. Because, like, just the amount that, oh, the game is so annoying. You miss The Sims 2. I never played The Sims 2, but I miss it too. <laughs> I never played it, but I know it would have been better than The Sims 4. I just... I had The Sims Life Stories, which was basically The Sims 2 machine. That was my first Sims game. It was basically like The Sims 2 game machine. I'm going to save because I don't want to lose this again. But yeah, I don't know whether... I don't think I have a, any bad mods because I updated them all. So I don't really know what's going on here. But it's annoying. I'll say that. Right, I kind of want to do a, a carpet in here. I don't want one. purple ones. Can I filter by purple? We have some. These are like new. They're quite nice. Well that's like a really deep purple. Mm. I don't know, they look a bit that's a bit alpha. Maybe not. Did you update the game? I did. Maybe it's that. But my game's been crashing for like a couple of weeks now, randomly, and I don't know why. Um, it's fun. <laughs> it makes me question why I bought a gaming PC to play this game, if that even that can't handle it. Um, well, it normally does. It's just the game's just not cooperating with me at the moment. Do we keep the marble? Or do we do a different... We do, oh, I might do that floor. I quite like it. I want to put in a platform for the bed. Because I like it. I like doing that. Um, but I can never find the platforms. Right. I remember when the platforms came out and it took me ages to find them. Oh, they're here. <laughs> um... I don't understand though why they always make you update the game even if you haven't like bought the new pack because <laughs> that's what broke my the werewolf update is basically what kind of caused my laptop to just oh my god come on I'm getting really annoyed with this game kind of caused my laptop to just like break on me um and i didn't even get the werewolf pack which is what's most annoying about that um Try to check the crash report, it's come here. Maybe. Yeah, I might do that. I remember once I was having issues with the royalty mod, like a couple, about a few, maybe about a week ago, it was the royalty mod that was causing me issues with crashing. But I'm, I think I fixed it, so I don't really know what's going on. But whatever. I want to get the curtain for that, like, I don't know if it comes under here, though. Get rid of the purple. It's really weird, like, m one of my favourite curtains comes under this for some reason. But it's fine. I was once able to find a problem with one of the first... Oh, really? Oh, okay. I might check then. Do it like that. Right, I'm going to quickly... One sec, I just want to see what it says. Oh, 
Gosh. Hmm. It's a bunch of gibberish. Um. I don't see any words here. Give me one moment. I think I... There's a name of a sim who was an NPC in the spa lot. Is there. Um, we've got... I don't know what we've got. We've got... Oh, this is just all. I don't think I can see any words. I've done this before and I could see words, but I can't see any words this time. I can't make any of it out. Usually at the top or closer to the bottom. Okay. Ah, right. I don't see anything. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't see anything. Um. No, it doesn't say anything. Uh. It says screenshot, but I haven't taken any screenshots. I don't know. If this is a sim name, it's probably... Oh. What does the last exception say? Oh, I had something to do with the weather for an exception. I don't know. That's confusing. Why can't the game just run? <laughs> oh my god. I've never been able to play at prom because it just doesn't work. Even with like no model CC installed, prom just does not work for me. And I don't get why, it just doesn't. So I just think some it's just buggy for some people for some reason. Like, and there's not even really anything causing it. And it's really annoying. Or at least tell you what's wrong in this game could never it could never know. Oh, it's annoying. Yes, exactly. I like the emotes because they tell me how I feel. Like, and I also feel like a clown right now. I feel like a clown right now. You can kind of see from the thing next to me, that is one of the new sub emotes. It's a castle palace thing. And I'm really happy with it. Um, so when you're subbed for like longer, it sort of changes. So it starts off being like, uh, I think it's a blue palace, and then over time you get to the rainbow, which is cool. Uh, I decided to do like a castle palace thing, because that's literally like what we do. <laughs> rainbow, yeah, yes. Um, right. I don't know if I like that purple. I just don't like the texture of it. Like, I like the colours that this comes with, but it looks very officey and not very royal. Oh, we do have this one. Let me see. I'll do that one. That looks a bit better. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? We were... Um, bedroom. Rant over. <laughs> You like marble platforms. So do I actually. I just feel like it needs to be carpet because like that's where they're gonna sleep. Safe, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I don't know why it keeps crashing. I'm gonna have to study that thing again. See if I can actually find something. Um, 
like, what good is it having a gaming PC if even that doesn't stop the game from crashing? <laughs> we need to save ready. We need, yeah, you are right. I'll make sure I put one in. You're right, because I sometimes do forget. Did I even have enough? You did, don't worry, you did. <laughs> um, okay, I want like a little, I want a rug in here. I don't use many rugs in this palace. Has anyone downloaded the castle yet? And if you have, what do you think? I want a purple one. I want a purple rug. Oh, I like that one. But I don't know if I want like a darker one. Um, none of the purples are matching that well, but I think that might be the best one. But then again, I don't like the, how that's not centered with that. Unless we get a little sofa thing going on here maybe i don't know let's see okay you know when you've built so many palaces and you just don't know what to do anymore i feel like that right now i feel like i've done so many bedrooms at this point i'm like how can I make this different? <laughs> um, is that purple at the back? No, that's brown. Oh, uh, whatever. I'll do that one. Um, okay. You did, you don't have enough. Oh, thank you. I'm working on the CC list. Um, I'm not done with it because. Uh, the thing is, CC lists take me so long, um, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try add to it so like slowly. So hopefully it will all be done soon. More mirrors on the wall. I do that a lot. Yeah. So I mean, you can see here. <laughs> um, okay. I might do that one there. Fake window it. I want to do another castle, but I'm trying to think like what one I want to be inspired by. Because obviously the Winthrop one, that was inspired by Windsor Castle. And I'm wondering whether I should try to do one like Balmoral or like a different castle. Because there's so many beautiful ones just like across Europe and everything. You like making everything symmetrical. I do, but with some rooms like this it's really difficult to because like you've got, it's not quite centered with the actual, oh, hang on. Oh. Hang on. I'm good, I'll forget about that if I don't do it now. Is it that one? Yeah. If I don't do it now, I'll forget. Uh, I thought I did that, but maybe not. Okay. There we go. <laughs> um. It's just something, when, when rooms aren't symmetrical, it's quite difficult to, but. Uh, let's do, do I want mines from black? Oh, we need a fireplace in here. I don't want them getting cold. Um, it's quite funny though, I always do so many fireplaces in my rooms, but then when I'm actually doing story posts and stuff, I forget to turn them on. And then when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, I meant to turn that on, and then I get annoyed. <laughs> Let's do a mirror above here. Maybe a fireplace in the corner. You know, okay. <laughs> I have to do a fireplace in like every room, pretty much. You know, the, I think probably the thing that most... It's just weird to me as like a British person is the lack of radiators. Like, why don't we have radiators? It's such a normal thing for so many people. And it's like the way that our houses are heated and yet we don't have them. Does anyone else feel the same? Cause I feel like, why don't we have radiators? Why does everything have to be a fireplace? Cause that like really not many houses have fireplaces or at least not these days. I don't know what it's like in different countries, but in the UK, 
you have a radiator to heat your room if you don't have a fireplace and it's like the light switches as well i know they came with one of those kits but why is that hidden behind a kit you know I feel like as time goes on, I just get more and more annoyed with this game. I'm like, why? Why is a light switch hidden behind a paywall? Because <laughs> it doesn't need to be. Um, I think it's because they know some builders will pay for it. Because they want it. Oh, that's, that's, oh. where's the tool? Oh, it's there. CC for life, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't have any custom content light switches, just because like I just I don't think it would look right in like a sort of royal room. But I think if I actually did like normal, normal gameplay, like normal Sims and stuff, I probably would want light switches because I just think it looks weird to not have them. Like a light switch and a radiator is like the bare necessities of a room, and why is that not in The Sims 4? Let me save my game. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, stretch! Thank you! I only just saw that. <laughs> Sorry, I only just saw that. Um, I feel stretch. Oh, I cracked it. You can only hear my cracks more now. <laughs> my microphone is like right next to me. Um. There we go. <laughs> okay. A portable heater and stereo scope. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. But I remember, like, I remember this glitch I was having with the, you know, like the rental lot that's in. Why do I want to put a piano in here? I know that looks weird, but maybe they just like music in their bedroom. Maybe P let maybe Pri is a piano player. Let's make that canon. I want a piano in here. I don't know why. I do. Um, they're behind the pack. I'm not basic. Yeah, I remember I had a glitch with that pack when it came out, like the rental lot in the mountains where it's always snowing. Like although you had the heater like when the, the sims were away from the heater when it wasn't on they'd like start being cold and then they'd end up freezing to death and i was like they're in a rental house how are they freezing to death inside i don't know whether that was ever bugged out i mean i never had that issue again but it's the same thing like i remember like i could this is kind of when i gave up with the save but i had like See, I wish these came in the gold frame. I don't know whether to try recolor these myself and get these paintings in the gold frame. Just because I don't use the brown frames that much, but I, I like the flowers more than like these. So I don't know, that's quite nice though. Let's put that one there. But yeah, and I just, I started playing a new save with Snowy Escape. It was like my first save with Snowy Escape. And it was when I actually was like, okay, I'm gonna actually play The Sims 4 now. I'm not gonna just keep waiting for The Sims 3. I'm gonna actually play The Sims 4. And then my main Sim just died because he was out jogging in the mountains and he changed into his athletic wear. But because that's an option, like to go jogging in the mountains, I thought he'd be fine. And then he died, he froze to death. And he just had a toddler as well. And I just, I gave up with that save there and then. Which is sad. <laughs> Let's do any of these. That's quite nice. Let's do that one. Drama, yeah. I was really upset though. <laughs> Cause I've been putting like, I've been playing with those Sims for about a week at this point. And for me in the past, that was like a long time for me. Cause I always used to just make new saves every time I went in game. Um, if I wasn't, didn't do my royals, I'd still be doing that because I get bored with The Sims 4 so quickly. I get bored with it so quickly. If I'm playing like a normal game, I just 
cannot play it for that long. Like one family, I can't do it for that long. This is different though because it's like an actual story thing and I'm really invested in it and I just love it. But if it's like an actual normal save, I cannot play it for like more than a week. <laughs> um, I remember making a, a save specifically for high school to play the high school pack. I th that didn't last long though. Why athletic can't be popular? I know it's weird. Like, why make it an option? It was like an activity. So it was like to go jogging in the mountains because you could obviously take the mountain walks with Snowy Escape, and like there was an option to go jogging in the mountains. So I assumed he'd be fine, but then he died. That was before I had like MCC or anything where I could revive him. So I just had to mourn him. <laughs> The Sims 3 would never do that to me, you see. <laughs> I love The Sims 3. I want to try to get it going at some point. Just because I love it. And I kind of... I know, like, they say that it's really hard to run it these days. But I just want to try. I mean, I have a good PC. So I just want to try. We'll see. But I just miss it. I miss Late Night. I had so many hours in late night alone just because basically I'd always make like an actress in Bridgeport and I'd have so much fun and she'd be a celebrity and then she'd marry Matthew Hamming. Um, if you guys don't know much about The Sims 3, Matthew Hamming was the best pre-made sim ever. Um, look him up, he's lovely. <laughs> if you like the game, can't be normal about CC. Oh, MCC. Yeah, no, I feel the same now. I, I don't know how I used to use it before. Like, I don't know how I used to play the game before I had MCC. It's kind of crazy now. I need to find the mesh for this because it's so pretty. Like, if you look at that, it's so lovely. But I just don't... I've looked for the mesh before and I've never been able to find it. It's by RT Sims, and I've like looked all over like their Patreon and their Tumblr and everything, and I've never been able to find it. But I haven't deleted it just because like it's got some stuff on it that just looks really really cool, and I just I want to find it at some point. I need to go looking again because it just looks stunning, and I actually want to use it if I can never find it. I'm gonna sing on Sims Three and do the Sims Three Mario Bridge, yeah. Um, I loved Showtime. Showtime was such a great pack. I loved it and I loved because like you could sell out stadiums and stuff I know there was like that tour feature it never really worked for me though like you could send your sims on tour or something with like online stuff but that never worked for me I probably wasn't doing it right back then though <laughs> um but it was so cool and I'm like why can't we have something like that now it's just like and like you could literally like do it actively like when they're on stage they'd have like different venues and they'd like work their way up through the venues they start off as like a ring salesman not not a salesman what is it delivering songs to people like jingles to people um and then they slowly work their way up through like festivals to like selling out like stadiums it was so cool i love that game I just miss The Sims 3. I'm just mad that The Sims 4 does not have the same gameplay that The Sims 3 had. Because if it did, it would be so good. Like, because you have the graphics of The Sims 4 with the gameplay of The Sims 3. That was like the perfect pack. But that just didn't happen. <laughs> Which is a shame. If you had The Sims 3, what was your favourite pack? And then, like, what's your favourite Sims 4 pack? Showtime and Cottage Living. That's fair. They're very good packs. Mine would probably be... I do like 
what this is for. I think, for, for me, Late Night was just iconic and amazing. I loved Generations though. And I loved, you know, I loved University Life and I loved Island Paradise. I can't pick one. I was one of the people who actually Island Paradise worked for. I had so many fun hours building like resorts and everything. And I remember I had a five star resort and I was so happy with it. So I think I probably can't pick one actually. It's probably a mix. It's one of them ones, but it's just so good. Supernatural. Oh, Supernatural was good. I just, the only thing is I hated the zombie feature when they just like, even if you weren't in the lot, they'd always come out at night and just annoy you and they'd come out the ground. That's what I didn't really like about Supernatural. But it was a really good pack if you were playing it. Oh, it's my favorite Tales ever. Yeah, the one with like the resorts. Oh, so good. I loved Island Paradise. And then like, you had mermaids, but you could go underwater. And it was so cool. Like you could actually swim underwater and you could go diving and you could go in all these caves and then the Kraken could eat you. It was, oh. it was just so good. And then like looking at, um, what's it called island living in comparison it's just sad because i i know how good island paradise was i mean i love there's certain parts of island living that i definitely love more like i love the um the culture that comes with it i love that but i think just like the mermaids just kind of depresses me because i know how good they were in um the sims room homes on water yeah i loved that and you had like a steering wheel and everything Does it look weird with like all these different sofas? I don't know if it does. Or would it make more sense to put this one here and then have this one? Hang on, I'm thinking. That one could go there and that one could go there. I think that works a bit better. In child place, that's funny. You can relook at your hostel. Yeah. What was it? It was um Yeah, you could like steer it to like a different place, couldn't you? And I remember like you could move I remember with Island Paradise you could like start moving worlds, which was good because I think the only downside to the Sims 3 is although it was an open world which was amazing and I still would rather it be that than what it is now. Um you could like change worlds and move worlds so i had like my main family move worlds a lot so they could like experience different things and i did so much with them because of that and i remember just being so happy when they added in that feature we'll do that one and we'll do like maybe another mirror and then in the sims 4 see i never really know I think I like different as I like different aspects of different packs. I really like I like City Living because it was the first pack I actually got for The Sims 4 and I remember being actually really happy with it and I remember getting a lot of hours of gameplay out of it surprisingly. Um, but that's really not my favourite but I think it was like a good it was a nice introduction to me with the fact it actually worked when like the Sims 4 packs now, most of them don't work and you don't get many hours of gameplay out of them. I thought the horse pack would be like my favorite and it's kind of a shame that it's not. <laughs> um, just cause it feels really shallow, I don't know. Like I think the thing with the Sims 3 is you get so many hours of gameplay out of each pack. Whereas with the Sims 4 it's like, you can kind of complete it really, really quickly. Oh my god, where is it? Where was that? <laughs> um, which is just annoying when you spend all that money on the, all these packs and then like you're bored of it so quickly. And I think it's just how like the game is built to function. I don't know. It's just a little annoying. Although, I did buy paranormal stuff the other day and I'm actually excited, really excited to play it. 
because I know it's apparently the best stuff pack they ever released and after that they stopped making stuff packs which is a shame but I'm excited to play it because I want to see it for myself big chair in this corner. I do like cottage living a lot. I think I think Hempen on Bagley and Windenburg are probably my favourite worlds. But I really do like Tartosa. Um but in terms of like I don't know. Yeah, I think they're probably like my favourite for worlds. I think you can't beat Windenburg in terms of like the world, to be honest. Oh hang on, do we do that one there? That's mm. Oh gosh. Paranormal is really good. You've got to play it only once. Ooh, okay. I'm looking forward to playing it. I think it might be quite fun. Because also it comes with Bone Hilda. And I miss her from The Sims 3. <laughs> I, I remember I always had her, like, coffin that she came with. Because I think she had a Supernatural. And, like, that's the thing. Like, Supernatural came with so many things. It came with fairies. It came with vampires. It came with werewolves. It came with wizards. Well, they're called spellcasters in The Sims 4. And then it also came with Bonehilda. I think it made ghosts better, then it came with zombies, which is something we don't actually have in The Sims 4 yet. And we don't have fairies either, but that also came with. Okay, and then we'll put like... Do you guys think you're gonna get either of the new kits? I'm mainly asking that because I'm curious if anyone is actually going to. <laughs> uh, because I'm not, and the reason I'm not is because I think they could have done so much with like a kit for the pool, but for like build by. I don't know why they did it as swimwear. It just feels like a wasted opportunity to me. Cause like, I don't know. I just, I, I wish they would have. Cause imagine we could have like infinity pools or we could have like floats for kids and stuff. It could be really fun. And then they just did it as Bill Bai. No, not Bill Bai, they just did it as Cass. And it's like, why would you do that? Um, you use so much CC and barely play the game that you forget how empty it is. No, I'm the same. <laughs> when I finally play the game, I'm like, this is ridiculous. Um, kits are another for me. No, I feel you there. They did add a new thing, though, didn't they? I haven't checked it out. This is what the update was about, wasn't it? It was, um... Yeah. They've added things so you can filter by kits. But, like, look what came with this. This is all that came with this kit. Obviously, you've got some wallpapers. But £5 for that. And then like this one, I mean this came with a bit more but there's not much build by for that one. I regret all the kits I bought other than this one because I'm using it for Sanra. But other than that I regret them all. I regret buying this one so much. Because as soon as that came out we had Cottage Living. Which basically has like the same counters and the same style. And I'm like why did you release that and charge us for it? That was the free one and then that was the one I got. Oh hang on. I got this one. And I regret getting it because these two should have been one pack. Because why weren't they? Because they're the same thing. Hi, Tim how are you doing? It's been great. Uh, we have some new emotes if you wanted to check them out. Uh, they should have done the filter from the start. I know. I, ne I never knew why they didn't. Because the thing is, they kept releasing so many kits. I'm like, isn't it a given that you would put in filters when you've released so many? Because <laughs> it's a turn off for people to buy them. Oh, the skeleton's gonna crash then. 
I'm getting so paranoid about my game crashing. Um, okay, I like that for the bedroom. That's fine. You make ready? Yes! Yes, T's showing them off. They're really exciting. Um, yeah, the artist did them really quickly and I'm just so happy with them. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm just going to put them in, in where any window is, to be honest. Yes! <laughs> tea, yeah. That's where if there's any tea or like, you know, if you want to find out tea and stuff. Um, we've got... Oh, so cute, thank you! We've obviously got a hi. It's literally tea, find out, I find it so funny, yeah. <laughs> Yes, uh, we've got heart eyes. We've got I can't remember which ones are followers and which ones are sub emotes, but I think some people have unlocked some already from like the fact that you could unlock them. Um, we got devil horns. I think that might be a sub emote. We've obviously got the T. Yes, thank you T. Oh my gosh, I keep saying T. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got one for Eleanor and Philip as well, which is really cool. Stretch, thank you. Let's stretch. Do you see what I mean though? Like my, it just panned out and I didn't even touch my mouse. That's how broken the scrolling is. Oh, I really want to get that new mouse, but it's just, oh, I really want to get it, but like, oh. but then again, I don't want to get a wireless mouse just because like the idea of charging it just doesn't sit right with me because what if I forget to charge it, then I just can't play. See, that's funny. Tea in the emote tea. Exactly. <laughs> if you arrive, I think we just need to do the tea emote. And be like, hi, tea. <laughs> I think we'll do that one there. But yeah, we've been working on this palace a bit more. Um, we also killed King Philip. Tea, again. Uh, <laughs> redeemed the kill King Philip. Um reward so we did that a bit earlier we did it at the barbie spa <laughs> in the sauna which is quite fun okay yes <laughs> dear okay um i do have another emote and it's um like a laughing crying emote but i don't think i had enough spaces to put it in when I eventually unlock a new space, I think I need like a certain amount of sub points for it. But when I unlock it, I'm going to put it in. There is another remote that I got, but I just can't put it in. I have no space for it anywhere. So, yeah. But when we have it, it's like a laughing, crying emote. And I was going to make it a follower emote, but I didn't have enough space, which is really annoying. Um, okay. So that's the main bedroom. Then maybe this can be the bathroom yeah this can be the bathroom so let's get some bathroom stuff in here oh my god i love how it's like free stuff and it's only one thing <laughs> that says a lot about the sims like if you look at all the dlc all of the dlc there's so much and then free stuff is one thing <laughs> I feel bad, I feel like I've been really critical of The Sims 4 lately. I'm sorry guys, this has been negative. I'm just getting kind of annoyed with it. So if I miss King, killing Philip, I'll have to go back and watch it later. <laughs> um, he died quite quickly actually, it was good. Okay, I wanna do a bath. The free, the free stuff feels like a dream, I know. Isn't it just like holiday stuff as well? It's just, I don't know. Um, okay. I don't know if this is off centered and it really bugs me. It's fine though. Um, do we do a bathroom? I feel like this is too big for a bathroom now, but maybe they can have two baths because, you know, that's cool. Did it actually happen? I don't think it did. A one-time Christmas gift from EA, yeah. 
It's like when they did the pack refresh for Spa Day, and then like we all assumed we were going to get more, and we just didn't. It just feels very typical. Oh, and that kit for. Oh, I remember that. To be fair, though, that's like. Like, I get why they made it free, but at the same time, I got the game on release, and when I bought the base game on release, I don't know if you guys know much about when it was The Sims was released. The base game was so empty, and me and my sister were so excited for it, but the game was so empty, we got bored within like a few days, and we went back to The Sims 3. And we were so excited for it, and then it just ended up just being really bad. Um, and I think when I bought the game, the base game, it was about £50. I spent that much on the base game. And for it to be free now, I get it was years ago, I get that. But it kind of... And that for them to just give it everyone just like a five pound kit. I don't know. <laughs> no toddlers even. No, no. I know it was really weird just watching like <laughs> your baby grow into a child straight away. It was so weird. So weird. I played base game for a solid week and didn't touch again. Yeah, no, I'm the same. I just did not play The Sims 4 when it came out. And I was so excited to as well, but I just... I didn't like it. Especially because like, The Sims 3 was such a good and well-rounded game. <sighs> just a shame. I only switched to The Sims 4 when The Sims 3 stopped working for me. I'm going to change this mirror. But I didn't switch to The Sims 4 properly until 2020. <laughs> it took me that long. Um, when Snowy Escape came out, that's when I switched over. Because that was the first pack I was actually excited for. I remember watching this trailer and I remember actually I pre-ordered it because I was really excited. And then I got it and then my Sims died in the, um, whilst going running in the mountains and then I was upset. And then I was like, why am I even playing this game? <laughs> oh, so annoying. The only way they could appease- oh I need a toilet. The only thing that could appease me at this point is if they gave us a royalty pack. If they gave us a royalty pack, I would be so happy, but I don't see that happening. But, I'd be so happy. Game was making fun of you about the sim- it was, yeah. Also, that was when sentiment- oh yeah, this, this story gets even crazier. That was when sentiments were released, because it came with that pack. I remember my. What are they thinking about? Oh, I can't see. I think Nathaniel's being paranoid and Priya's thinking of fire. Okay. Fine. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so sentiments are just released. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but one minute. The, the dad, he was the one who died. He like went jogging in the snow in the mountains because you were allowed to do that, but because he switched into his athletic where he froze to death. Right before that, for some reason, he had a sentiment with his daughter where they like got really like upset in each other's presence. I don't know what happened, but because of that, literally if he held his daughter, they both get really bad mood looks and they literally just hated each other. And she was a toddler. And I was like, what even happened? And then he died, and then I was like, oh my god, this is actually, like, quite traumatic. Oh, you wanted this pack badly here. Freeze to death, I know. They're being anxious, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they should be if they're one of my sins. To be honest, though, maybe not the fire, but... The fact you're being anxious is quite actually a part of the episode, so. That's what they're gonna, basically my save file is like ready for the episode, I just need to film it. So that's what they're wearing in the episode, kind of spoiler. Be for the toddler novel stuff. I know, I, I never understand this game. I'm gonna move this over here actually. 
they would stack that would be cool if they could stack but I don't think they want to we've got we've got I don't know how their bathroom stuff but okay we got some soap yeah we can have some soap oh their bath bomb no I want soap let's do a tissue box <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore with this. Soap jar, there we go. That's what I want. I'll do a pink one. Pink soap. This is such a Barbie dream house. We still need to give Nathaniel like a mojo dojo casa room. Okay. That's fine. And it's a very big bathroom. Um, maybe, should we do like a shower screen? I need to get more inventive with like my bathrooms. Oh, oh it's only like that. I do like a shower screen. Um, can I do like a window? What have we got? Um, I think I want it to be taller. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Wait, I like that. Oh my gosh, I like that. Okay, that's good. Big bathroom call for a random plant. You were very right. It's kind of got a weird shadow. Let me put the light there though. I can't believe I nearly missed a plant. Um, I can go near the toilet. <laughs> um. platform oh maybe okay hang on <laughs> don't mind me <laughs> this tune seemed quite stressful actually <laughs> okay let's see oh right oh I like that Okay. Oh, I like that. Oh, wait, I like this bathroom. Nathaniel has a nice bathroom. Oh, I need to put that up a little bit. Oh, that's a bit down. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I put like a thingy on that wall. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm happy with that. That's a nice bathroom. They can do their business and bathe in style. You're good, yay! <laughs> oh, have you seen the new emotes? Um, okay. That's fine. Do we wanna? Actually, I might add some more things in here. Let's do that. Okay. I wanna do that, but no, I, actually I don't. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop before I do too much. <laughs> I can, there, there is occasions where I do too much um, with the runes. <laughs> okay. Priya brushes her teeth. Nathaniel is taking a shower. Priya <laughs> looks over at <laughs> Yes. <laughs> to be on it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically they could both take a bath at the same time in here. They have two different bathtubs to choose from. Okay, I want to do like another bedroom, like a guest bedroom, and I kind of want to do like a nursery. So I'm thinking guest bedroom guest bathroom, nursery, nursery bathroom area. What do we think? And then I think that might be it. Oh, oh hang on, what's going on there? There we go. And then we can work on landscaping because it's currently got like nothing and it looks quite bad. <laughs> There's nothing I hate more than landscaping. Oh my gosh, why does I keep doing that? It's so I'm gonna make sure the rest of it looks all right with the wallpaper. I love how Nathaniel's literally living in like a Barbie dream house. It's so funny and I love it. Oh wait, no, we need a like, Kismodo Mojo Dojo Casa room. Unfortunately, I don't know where we can fit one in. <laughs> Maybe it could be here. We don't need a nursery bathroom, do we? Not really. Landscaping is such a pain, I wish I was going to do I'm really bad at it. I hate it. Like, I think my builds could look so much better if I knew how to landscape, but because I don't. Like, they, they look they look alright, but like, I, I wish that I was better at it so that my... Because I really wish I used terrain tools, but I just don't know how to do it properly. Because like, imagine if I could have put that Winfrey castle on like a hill or something, where I can make a castle on a hill, and I really want to. But I just don't know how, so that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> One day I'll learn. Um, I feel like Nathaniel would want the nursery near the master suite so he can take over his kids. Yeah, I mean, right next to it, to be honest. Yeah, and then that can be guest bedroom, guest bathroom, nursery, Nathaniel's man cave. <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to probably put like a computer and a TV in there, <laughs> to be honest. I like that, that's nice for the nursery. Okay. Let's try and make this look good because the one I did in the, um, I keep calling it Caroline's Palace, she, it's not just her who lives there, but the one I did in there I absolutely hate, so. He didn't have a dad, so he wants his future kids to be extremely well. Yes, exactly. I feel like once he found out about everything Philip did, he was just like, oh my god. Because <laughs> the thing is, he didn't know, like, literally anything about his dad. Like, obviously he was trying to do, like, research about the royal family, like, early in chapter two. Um, like, when we first met him. But, like, he really knew nothing. And then just to kind of find out, he doesn't know everything, I don't think they've told him quite everything. Um, but I think what he does know, he's just kind of like, oh, oh my god. Um, like, how can I come from that? Um, I don't know what to do in here. We've got like a baby changing thing. Well, I wish this, I, I wish this one I don't know. I wish it had better swatches. It's nice, but we need like the nappy bin. I, I can never find it on its own. I can never find it on its own. I can only find it when it's like joined on with that. Um, diaper. I keep forgetting it's called diaper. Because it's American. In the UK we say nappy. <laughs> The yellow one. Do I want to do that? Maybe. Ah, 
actually, uh, I probably won't do that because they don't have any kids right now. <laughs> and that would probably be weird to have like a stack of diapers ready. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. I'm getting so paranoid my game's gonna crash. <laughs> um, when you're sitting at the dinner table and a family drops crazy dad law. <laughs> Philip has the craziest dad law. <laughs> like, hey, did you know that our dad was kind of a psychopath? <laughs> he definitely doesn't know everything, though. I think, I don't think he knows about any of the, um... I don't think he knows about like Nicola or um or John. I don't think he knows about that. I think he just knows like that Philip cheated a lot. I think he knows that like he didn't I don't I don't think he quite knows everything. Like they haven't quite told him everything, but they've told him enough, you know. I he know obviously he knows about Andrew that he obviously killed Philip because that was public knowledge anyway. But he doesn't know about like Nicola or anything. The game has crashed twice since the update, so I'd have to be paranoid. I don't know what's causing it, but mine was crashing a little bit before the update. But like I've updated all my mods, so I don't know what's going on, and I'm getting stressed. I'm trying to enjoy some mac and cheese and have my veg stuck in the drum. Dad trauma, yes. Uh, it's not realistic. My family always drops some rich farmer from food. <laughs> It's funny though, because when I was younger, like I, you know, you just you just sort of assume that like your family is just like completely like drama free and everything when you're younger, but then as you get older, you start finding out some things, and then like you're like, oh my gosh, about like past family members and stuff, and you're like, oh wow. Um, a koala chair is quite. That is a koala, right? Yeah, it is. So is it the dinner too? <laughs> I always hear like stories of like American Thanksgiving and like how crazy it can get like with families and stuff and I've always wanted to like experience one because I'm like oh I wish I could like see that type of stuff. <laughs> I like doing these canopies above the beds so I think we might do that. Um, that's nice. I might, oh sorry I might change these to pink. And then change the bassinet to pink as well. That's nice. I mean, this is a very basic nursery, but I don't want to do too much. Because they have no children currently, so... Um, yeah, same happened to me. Family law is tea. It is tea. Um, this family, yes the most dramatic law <laughs> like childhood perfectly normal family hit teenage years drama yes exactly um okay i think i want a painting of some sort but i don't know what what came with like the growing together pack let's see We've got a tree. What swatches does this come with? And is this like a height chart? Oh, that's cute. Oh, I might do that one. That's really cute. We'll do that one. That's actually super cute. They're cool for like non-royal bedrooms, but if I suddenly put that in like, do you know what I mean? Like they they're cool, but not for like royal rooms. Oh yeah, that's for the thingy, isn't it? Oh, you got a two cherry sticker. These are really cute, but again, not really for like royal rooms. Cool artwork though. Got a height chart. 
saying it's cute just to never look at it again that's me that really is me the only time i've been i have actually been using horse ranch but that's just because i've been building a stable do you guys want to see it it's in this save file I've, I've done some work to the interior we can come back to this in a bit but i'm really actually happy with it um we can go see it and it's in heaven uh, here it is. Look at the price of it compared to that. Oh wait, you can't see. That's like 19,000. <laughs> okay, let's go in. I'm not done, but it's more done than it was this morning. <laughs> okay. I want to get a custom loading screen, but I remember like... I had one, but better when I got had better exceptions, it kept telling me that it was like broken, and then I got paranoid, so I got rid of it. But I I, I want to try and make my own one. But I heard you need to download some sort of program for it, and I don't really want to do that. Again, it's not finished. So this is the exterior of it. Then in the inside, we've got like so we've got like the main stable so this is where all the horses stay so we have like two four six eight eight i don't know why i couldn't count them um we have like eight and then like i sort of have like when you enter you have a window so you can like peer at the horses when you enter which is quite cute then you've got so this is like, I imagine this is going to end up being like a little sort of like sitting room and stuff and maybe like an office because I imagine staff work here and then, so I went to the Royal Muse as well when I went to um, Buckingham Palace and they had a riding school so I've tried to kind of recreate this here um, and again you can sort of peer at the horses and like you can have a look at like all the horses from these windows which I think is quite cool but yeah, so I wanted to put in these jumps, but they wouldn't fit in the actual room, so I just got barrels here. But yeah, this is the sort of riding school area. Uh, you can have put the butterfly wall deco in the kids. I could, but I didn't have that pack. <laughs> I don't have the kids room stuff pack, unfortunately. And again, you can sort of like have a look in at the horses, which is quite cute. And then obviously, you kind of got this bit so like you can walk around and like look at the horses and stuff and yeah this is what i've got so far um but yeah it's like the horse stables but i imagine like maybe like the royal children they learn to ride in this bit and the horses are also trained in this bit and then they also like learn to ride out here as well but yeah what's this actually i need to um but i also was using the or organic pack by Felix Andre for this as well so some bit most of it's horse ranch but some of it like these windows they're organic um yeah stables when I'm done with it I'm gonna put it on the gallery but for now I'm just I'm not done with it so I won't put it on yet but yeah it's very nice many areas look at the horses exactly like and I can imagine like story posts taking place here and they're like sort of talking whilst like looking at the horses like I think it'll be really cute yeah this is like the inside of it i want to put something on like that end wall but i don't know what yet but then you've got like the riding school again i need to do more work with it and then like you can look at the horses through here i'm saying this way i don't really keep with story but it's yeah i know but yeah, and then like you go up, oh gosh, go up, yeah, and then like you can look at the horses down there as well, yeah, that's that, <laughs> I wanted it near the castle, because I think that it will be quite sweet, 
so yeah i need to get more castles and like manor houses around here they just take a while to do oh we were in tartar so weren't we will you not sneak in a boy or girl to make out with yes <laughs> exactly um right also i i realized earlier today the posts i posted today of like eleanor and wed uh weddings eleanor and william's wedding that portrait yeah. the portrait that i recolored um in that video i meant to post that the day it was posted to youtube but i realized i forgot today and i was like i should probably post that so that was actually meant to come out when that video came out <laughs> but i just forgot okay yeah that's fine i i'm good actually i might do a rug but that might be it the stuff packs i have are i have the luxury party i have the perfect patio i regret getting that so much but it's fine i've got that one and then i've got these two i don't remember buying bowling light but apparently i did um tiny living now i've got paranormal but i don't i don't have a lot of them and then game packs i want an excuse to buy outdoor retreat but i don't want to spend the money on it because i want the world because i want more worlds to build in but i don't want to spend that money on a game pack that i know isn't great because obviously it was, it was the first pack for the sims 4 so it's obviously not great and i'm waiting or hoping for a refresh of it before i buy it but that's probably not going to happen because i was going to buy it because of the nando breeze of greece mod for like um the greek part of sims anastasia but i i'm guessing it's broken now i'm not too sure because nando stopped updating their worlds for now so until that happens or something i'm not gonna get it because i don't have an excuse to spend that money <laughs> you say you were half asleep when you bought bowling stuff so you don't remember buying it all yeah I don't remember either, like, I was just suddenly in game one day and I just saw bowling alleys and I was like, did I buy this? I don't remember buying this. I don't have Batu and I'm never getting that. I was, I really wanted to get it when it came out, but now it's been a while, I just don't want it anymore. Um, and then I'm not getting werewolves because I don't really like occults. I think I, I wouldn't, the, the ones I'd get from this would probably be movie hangout. And then that might be it. And then none of the kits. But I have all of the expansion packs. Anyway, let's get a rug. You, I can ask it for a Christmas gift. I could, yeah. Well, like, I think my mum was like, <laughs> when I, like, for my birthday this year, my mum was like, well, what, what would you like? Would you like a Sims pack or something? And at the time I was like, I don't think, I can't think of any I want. And then, like, she ended up taking me to Buckingham Palace and went to the castle. So I'm very happy I didn't ask for a Sims pack now. <laughs> Buying me your sleep, that's EA strategy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't remember buying it. I think I must have got it in a bundle just so I could save some money on, like, an expansion pack and a game pack I got. And I was like, yeah, I might as well get this. Um... But I just don't remember doing it. But I obviously I did it, but yeah. Okay, I like that. That's fine. Let's do Nathaniel's man cave. Um what would a what would a Ken room look like? I want it to look nice though. Let's do like a really comfy looking sofa. Ooh, we got that one. Oh, let's do the Phoenix Andre one. That looks comfy. Oh, we've got that one. I don't know. Um, so technically you're not spending your own money. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like, I think the whole bundle ploy was actually, like, really, like, use. It was actually really good at tricking me. So I was like, yeah, I'm saving money. And then I'm actually buying a pack, like a stuff pack that I wouldn't have bought. Um, <laughs> it is actually quite a... <laughs> but 
But luckily, because I have all the expansion packs now, I physically am not allowed to buy any bundles because I have everything. So that's good now. Um, but the thing is, when expansion packs come out now, I end up buying them on release. So, like, I can't really... You can't get them in a bundle until they've been released for a certain amount of time, which is really annoying, actually. Big brain lol, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm spending the money, but I'm not. Um, the bundles are definitely effective for me. Yeah. I remember I saw them and I was like, oh, it's so great. Like, I'm getting more for my money. Well, it wasn't really. I was buying another pack. In reality, you're spending... You're saving, like... I don't know how much you're saving. How much do you save with, like... Do you do that one? I want it to look nice, though. Actually, I don't think I know how to build a man cave. Why is this curtain so small? That's weird. Um... <laughs> now I'm thinking of Barbie. I kind of want to do it like a horse room. <laughs> like the Barbie movie. <laughs> um, like a Mojo Jojo Casa house. Oh, that could work. I kind of want to be like a gaming room. Let's do like that. And then we need like a table with like a... Spun. And then I want it to look... Mm, I don't know. I always wait for sales. Barbie gaming room. But it needs to be like a Ken gaming room because I kind of feel bad that he, he's living he's living in a Barbie dream house. He needs a Mojo, Mojo Dojo Casa room. And I think we have to give it to him. And there's compromise and I need to compromise with him. Let's do that one actually. We'll do that. That's cool. Okay, now he needs like a big TV. I mean, he's rich, he could probably get the biggest one. Wait, what's the cheat? It's BB dot, actually let me turn the test key. I always forget to put the command on, then cheats don't work on like why army or thing. Um, BB dot, ignore game, let's see if I've learned it. Unlocks and title. I did it. Yay! <laughs> it took me ages to learn that cheat. Okay. I remember using it a lot when I was trying to use the flags that came with Strangerville because they were always locked. Um, and I eventually got there. snacks on there maybe we need like a gaming bit uh that's is it electronics uh, where's the gaming where's the gaming bit is it in here So you just have that in here. Um, maybe he's just a hardcore gamer. I don't know. Um, oh, he needs a drone. That's such like a Ken thing. Oh, I can't really put it anywhere. I remember for the longest time I couldn't spell motherload as motherload. Yeah. I was kind of used to. Oh, it's no, that's a speaker. Do you need a gaming thing or do? Oh, when did that come out? Oh, that's the astronaut. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm <laughs> exploring new things. Oh, you've got a fan. That's cool. I'm gonna put that fan in there. That's cool. Um, guys, do you need a gaming console anymore? I I genuinely don't remember. the cheats that took me ages to learn i think mavalo oh there it is can't find them okay we'll do that one uh, da, 
does the drone come in a gold? Because then it's going to go nice with the loot. We'll do that one. Okay. I want him to have like a gaming setup as well. So let's... Okay, Canon now Nathaniel's a gamer, mainly because I want to do a gaming room. nice to be fair this makes me want like a new desk <laughs> like oh uh, i really want to get like a better setup like in terms of like a keyboard and a mouse and everything and I, i'd love a new desk because my desk is black and i kind of wish it was like pink or something um but i literally i remember buying the only desk that was available at the time i feel like he'd have a gold one Hey, let's be real, he's a prince. They probably specially made it for him. Oh, he's a gamer gamer, he is. He's a gamer boy. <laughs> uh, do we want to do like, um... The, yeah, I only got, I got the one that was available at the time because I was, I wanted it built before my PC came and I had to build the desk myself. So I was like, I'm going to do it now. So I got the only one that was available. Um, it's nice, it's good. And it's sturdy and it's really really big but i just wish it came in different colors do want to do? Mm. paint and that's wallpaper mm. let's see what will come with the game oh my god william and her dream brought him his pc that's so cute. Maybe they got it for him for Christmas. I feel like he might have been saying like, I love Priya, but like she's turned our house into this big pink palace. <laughs> and then they feel bad for him. So I was like, okay. And they surprised him <laughs> with a gaming PC. But maybe he just plays The Sims. Maybe he doesn't actually play like proper game. Well, no. That was really bad of me to say. I don't mean like we don't play proper games, but you know what I mean. Like gaming as in like, there's a difference between like boy gaming and like girl gaming. <laughs> I feel like he does girl gaming. Like The Sims, Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing. Rock I want. That's a nice rug. Oh, and that fits. Oh my gosh, guys, this is turning out well. Yes, he's a girl gamer. He is. I'm going to run a hardcore gaming setup to play flash games. <laughs> you know the game that you get when you have no internet connection and it's like the dinosaur with like your <laughs> Maybe he plays that. <laughs> And Prue's just like, why? And he's like, because I can. Or you know when, like, boys mansplain things? Maybe he's just mansplaining to her how it's better. And she's just like, but why do you need a gaming PC for that? And he's trying to, like, justify it. And she's like, I don't think you need one for that. And he's like, yes, I do. I can see him doing that, yeah. <laughs> Like he's like, oh, this is such a good investment. And she's like, is it? <laughs> uh, to be fair though, that's how like us Simmers look to some like people, like buying a gaming PC to play The Sims. But then again, you kind of need one. Like, let's be real. If you play with mods in CC, you do need a gaming PC. <laughs> Or at least like a good PC or good like a gaming laptop. Because it's crazy how powerful this game like needs to be. Mm, does, can this place on any table? Because I don't want it on the floor. Hmm, does it place on anything?
No. That's annoying. Um, does it place on a counter? Let's just put a random one. No. Um, oh my gosh. Do drones place on anything? I don't want it on the floor. Not even mansplaining, just showing her. He's just showing his sims to her and that's it, all the explanation he needs to do. Yes! <laughs> And he's built like the perfect family to like make up for the fact that like oh i'm making this sad now i want to take i might just like raise this up just because i don't want it on the floor you know i think that's fine i just don't want it on the floor that's fine And I feel like when William and Hajin come to like visit, they probably will go up here. Like the girls are like, like Eleanor, Priya and Helena are probably like having tea and like, yeah, let's say they're having tea and like here and then they're all up in the man cave, <laughs> just playing like <laughs> Stardew Valley and stuff. <laughs> And William's probably jealous because he doesn't get one. And it's probably because he hasn't asked for one. Like, Eleanor would definitely give him one, but he just hasn't asked for one because he feels, like, embarrassed about it. I'm coming up with all this lore now. <laughs> this. <laughs> oh my god. I was just looking and asking why that female sim has her name. <laughs> Ellen is like, why are you playing with the royalty mod? What's that? And he's like, um. <laughs> uh. Uh. I want a painting in here, but I don't want it to look too royal. What have we got? Actually, what comes, like... Uh, with the game. I don't know. Mm. Mm, I can explain. Runs, yes! <laughs> oh my god, Sim. Why? Why can't I size things up? It's so annoying. No, not that one. Oh, I don't know what I'm to do. Maybe we could have like movie posters. <laughs> um, Hajim would be a popular Stardew Valley speedrunner on Twitch. I'm calling it now. He would be, yes. What if he got like everyone to sign it? Like Eleanor. <laughs> I want to put this in and that like that he got his entire family to sign it. <laughs> or maybe he's the fan of like the crown. Maybe the crown exists in Sims Anastasia and he's a big fan of it. And like he wrote to like the producers and then the castle signed it for him when he's actually a prince. I can see that, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love law. <laughs> Gamer husbands with their amazing girl boss wives. Yes! <laughs> uh, I want something above the door, but I don't know what. Um. Maybe that. I can't not have something above the door, that's the thing. If we do that one and then we make it like... No, I don't like that. I might just leave it because I don't want it to look too royal in here. Oh my god, he would and his favourite female NPC is Bailey. 
Maybe how do you like write story suggestions to like the plot writers of The Crown? And Eleanor has to like monitor them all before, like she gets them sent to her first so she can make sure he's not revealing any secrets of the royal family before he does it. Because he's like careless and he's like, he just gets so excited he doesn't really like, I feel like he's not very self-aware. <laughs> Just because it reminds me of Helen. <laughs> Maybe because Helena does acting, he's like telling her, oh my gosh, you should like go on this show. Like the crown. And Helena's like, I'm not doing that, Nathaniel, I'm a princess. And he's like, no, but you should. <laughs> okay, I'm done with this man cave. What do we think? Does it need anything else? I don't think we can really fit anything else in here. I don't want to have a plant in here because I feel like if he had one, he it would die. So he'd let it die. Hygiene is just a smooth brain. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we just need to do the guest bedroom now. always fun to just do silly rooms like that because in um in the summer palace i remember giving eleanor a nap room in just like a random room because i feel like <laughs> she needs a nap when she's doing all her work just things like that are just so funny to me and like it's got like archie's bed in it and everything Okay. Oh, the globe barn. Oh, yeah. Do you mean like the big globe? Or something else? Smooth brain. <laughs> oh, the barn. Hang on. This one, yeah. I don't know the name of it, I just know it's cool, yeah. I just don't know the name of it. Um, let's do that one, because it goes with the room. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, Paul's just slide up. <laughs> Okay, let's do, oh, I don't know what to do here as well. Let's get like a thing. Hmm, I kind of want to do like, hmm, I'll do this one. Actually, uh, no, we'll have it there and then we can have like a little sitting area here. So we need like a light here because it's really dark in that corner. <laughs> okay. Helena, my husband is an idiot, but he's my idiot and I love him. Yes. <laughs> It's literally kind of like the thing where like all of the women, I feel like all of them wear those pants, trousers in their like relationships and I love it. Like I don't think you need super masculine men all the time because I feel like that's normally the case in stories and TV shows and just like real life. So I think it's just nice to have like a switch in dynamic. Obviously like, because I think it's nice with the juxtaposition of Philip who was literally he thought he was all that, but he wasn't. Um, whereas like all of the other men, like main men, they're just like, I feel like they're all like the complete opposite of Philip and I love it. A pretty, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, just women in power, yeah. It's just like, I feel like it's so refreshing to see. Um, I feel like there should be more of it. I definitely 
do have like a feminist take on my story and I'm aware of it but I think it's like needed in a lot of cases because a lot of stories and things don't have a feminist take on it and you know I think it's important to point out when like things are flawed like I think in general the monarchies are very like flawed in terms of like equality to women because the fact that in most places a woman can't inherit a title or like so a woman can't be come a duchess on her own authority which is just stupid <laughs> but like if there's a princess in terms of like and they only recently made it so that like princess charlotte could become could be ahead of her brother louis in the line of succession but even now like the law's still not updated so she can she still can't become a duchess in her own right even though she's a princess so it would have to be her husband who's not a prince well probably isn't would become the duke and she'd become the duchess to that and he took the title which is just so weird to me because she's the princess if you guys know what i mean true really does need a nickname yes what do you guys think i'm a liz stupid rules exactly it's almost like you're a female <laughs> you're, that's very true <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> um, I tease lovingly, thank <laughs> you. No, it's alright, I get what you mean. Um, but even then, some female writers choose to like not be feminist. I don't know how you could be a woman and not be a feminist, but some women do shock me. Sorry about the noise. It's like when um you had like women voting. I don't, actually I don't want to make this too political, but like you have women voting for like politicians who don't really care about their rights. If you know what I mean. I don't want to make this too political, but yeah, it's just a bit like why. <laughs> um. Men written by women. T. Yes. Yes. That's the best. Um. People shock me all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Is I think the Barbie movie. I think that kind of just made me think a lot more deeply about just being a woman. I think that just, th that movie was very important to me as like a person, as a woman. The public, yeah. Um, but some women, like some people who watch the Barbie movie, they completely missed the point. And they just went out being like, I didn't get it. And I like, I, you know, I just, do you guys get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I don't want to come off across as like rude or anything, but it's like a movie for women and it's a shame when some women like didn't get the point. People are just different. Exactly. Yeah. I get it. Thank you. <laughs> Men written by women are hot, yes. No wonder why I'm in love with all the men. Alice. Oh, thank you, excluding the two, you know, who's all gone. <laughs> I think, like, I just write men in the way that, like, I guess I want them to be. Like, if I'm gonna write, like, a good character and a nice man, like male character like of course I'm gonna make you, do you know what I mean like it's kind of like a no-brainer if you want to write like a good male character who's like a good person of course he's gonna like value like women's rights and everything
you just write the kind of man you want to your future daughter to end up with exactly yeah that is a very yes you phrased it perfectly kim because i feel like you can write toxic men but they should never be like the end goal in my opinion because why would you want a woman to settle for that? Because a lot of times, like, they change, but they don't really change, and, like, the woman settles for them. Or, like, she changes for them. That's why I hate Greece. Because at the end of it, Sandy changes for him. And, like, yeah, he wears a cardigan, but she, like, has to, like, change her whole entire, like... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just, like, oh, really bugs me when that happens. And that's why like kind of the anti-woman characters in my series are like bad guys and evil because you know they're not the ones that we're meant to feel bad for they're not the ones we're meant to forgive because why would we oh never settle for something bad exactly yeah i hate that kind of trick me too i love the music from greece that's it yeah i agree i love um it's a shame because i love hopelessly devoted to you but then like she ends up changing for him at the end and i'm like oh right because they are yeah <laughs> And like, if I like, and like, the thing is like, both of the men in Eleanor's life, like Andrew and William, they were both decent men. Like, I could very easily have made like, one of them like, we hate them, you know, one of them be like, rude to her or like, you know, all that stuff. But like, why would I do that? Because you can have two nice men in your life. Because often in love triangles, you have one who's like a little toxic and stuff, but I'm like, you, mm, you don't need that though. Like the Hunger Games. <laughs> like Gale. Also, back to Barbie, I love how it's like the highest grossing movie of the year now. I love that women did that. <laughs> it's good after diversity. Sometimes you want a toxic exes, but sometimes you don't. Exactly. Exactly. I think if we had Andrew being toxic, that would be too much. Because we had Philip, who was this is just king of toxicity. We didn't need anyone else in that situation. <laughs> I hate love triangles, but... I love... I hate love... You hate love triangles, but you hate them even more when at least one of them isn't the obvious choice. Exactly. Because I'm like, why am I meant to, like, support this character in, like, you know, wanting them to get with or end up with, you know, like, the main character? And if there's, like, not a clear reason, then I don't, you know... You have both. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but it's good to have both. But like, it's always good to have diversity in your story. Um, like, I I always like having a clear cut villain. And I know that like some are more ambiguous than others, but like, I don't know. I think some villains just aren't redeemable i never wanted to make philip redeemable because he's not 
Um, we do, I mean, it's a little bit more ambiguous in like the, the I guess the main villain uh, for this, for like the rest of chapter two. It's a little more ambiguous, but like, they're still quite evil, you know. stream here just because it's getting quite late so does anyone have any idea of who we can go raid we now have a raid emote which is exciting so i need to actually let me quickly add that to like the command before we send it um hang on what's it called one sec guys i'm trying to find I'm hoping this works, but it might not. Thank you, Kim. I'm gonna quickly, though, if you guys could switch out. Oh, I did the wrong one. Uh, if you could switch out the heart for, I'm gonna see if this works. Give me one moment, guys. I'm gonna see if this works. Okay, confirm. I'm gonna quickly try it again. You need sleep, that's fair. I need sleep too. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna try this. Okay, yeah, guys, if you could copy and paste that message with the new emote, because it's like, where do we have it now? Um, right, so we're gonna go and raid. Let me actually see who we can go raid, because I haven't actually had a look yet. <laughs> uh, let's go. Okay, let's go raid. Who's playing this in this world? Let's go raid someone new today. Let's go raid. Right, let's go raid maybe. Oh, pale green. Okay, wonderful. Yes, let's go raid a pale green. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you all again really, really soon. Um, I'll probably... Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing the 100 Baby Challenge stream tomorrow. I'll let you guys know. Um, I'll see how I'm feeling, but I do want to get the episode recorded, but if not, I will see you um, either Sunday or Monday, but I'll let you guys know. Okay, bye guys! <laughs>